I'm just going to do a um, little test in ZBrush, though. Um, I want to see if I can get a bit of um, like actual hair happening. If you look at like my cat references, they all have like hair on the nose like this. Maybe a little like peach fuzz all around. I'll try to see if I can't actually simulate that with um, fiber mesh. If it's not working, it's not working. It's fine, but uh... so I'm gonna do it in two times for uh, on the first shot. I'll try to do just like a, a general like peach fuzz like all around the character. Hopefully it's gonna look good as well in the uh during the rendering. JXX CX Hello Malamasa Hello hello Welcome So uh renovation guys are back you might hear a bit of a trilling <laughs> in the background. Alright. Let's uh let's do a duplicate just in case something happens. I'll work on the less heavy mesh as well. Oops. Let's go in our fiber mesh preview. Looks like a, a gremlin right now. <laughs> Okay, so short. Coverage is basically the size of the hair, which is somewhat important. Also, I'm just going to remove the... Um... Okay, so yeah, there's no standard preview. I just want to put them at 3 of profile. Okay. Just so I get like the real geometry. Segments, just two segments. We won't need... Like two segments might actually be even like too much, maybe just one. One is just going to be like a straight line.
Maybe that's too much hair. Zenjutsu, hello, hello. Okay. I'm guessing we could try this. But I'm not gonna let them like be all like spiky like this, of course. I'm gonna groom them a little bit. But I'm I'm guessing that like we could uh would you like to activate fast preview mode? No, I don't want to. And we'll test with the head before doing anything else, right? All right, let's take our grooming tools. Actually, you know what? Most of the time for grooming, I just use the um, the move brush. But I, I'm just going to activate a little um, that preserve length. And this is pretty much like the groom, like a, a, an option that I found in the grooming tools. Uh, and it's what kind of like already like dictates that like the hair is not going to get like longer it's an option that's really like like really made for um yeah the roaming tools and all and uh I, but pretty much activating that on your brush already like gives you like kind of like the most important aspect of the grooming brushes so you see i can just like move them in the direction that I want, and they always keep like the same length. And the uh, frontal collision is the thing that like makes it not go inside of the mesh, which is the other option here, the frontal collision 50. This is just a, a value by default. But it's pretty much like that that makes the, the hair not go inside of the mesh. So I'm moving the mesh, but it's not going inside. And in yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So let's just give like some movement to every, every piece of hair. Some of them, I'm not sure which move, what movement I want to give them. So I'm just going to go a bit random. I think I'm gonna have to remove the symmetry. This it seems like it's not really liking. Um... Oh, or maybe it's the. Um... Maybe it's also the. Uh... Hmm. Let's check. Just check our grooming brush. Uh, our grooming brush for a sec now. Magnet, is that going to help us with this? 
Nah, it's kind of like having a problem with the thickness of that mesh here. Ah, uh, groom hair long, groom hair short. No, still problems. I think I'm gonna have to keep a small radius for this. Also, there's um, some places where like the hair can actually be a little bit like longer. So let me try um, this. I'm actually going to use the pen a little bit. But my screen is not set up for this. But anyways, so I'm just going to take my move rush again and uh, remove preserve length. This place is I'm going to have to also remove the hair. For... I was going to do the, this section here in two passes, but like maybe, uh, maybe I can get it in just one pass. Huh? Mm. No, I think I'm going to keep it in two passes. All right, so it gives us a bit of um, an effect here. We'll have to choose also the right color for the for the hair. But I think it could be usable. Let's see. I'm gonna make uh, just a patch of hair that, over the the nose here. Ah, that's uh, quite a lot of hair.
Okay, let's try that. It's not really grooming uh, the way that I want it to. Uh, that sucks. Oh, groom brush. That's kind of like making it fly away. Why is it? Uh, hair short, hair toss, hair length, hair spike. It just won't. I'll remove the preserve linked. No, sorry, no. That's not what I meant to do. I mean, I'm gonna really lower the front collision. Okay, I feel it's actually closer to what I was trying to do, so. I'm going to smooth it, smooth them out to shorten them. I'm going to go here and I'm going to I'm actually going to push them with the standard brush. Standard brush should not have any preserve link or collision, so it's going to be able to Same thing on the lips. Okay. Let's just see what this gives in the um, with the rendering. All right, let's go for it. Clone this and then insert 
this in here. So this is a mesh I'll be adding. So uh, merge down, sure. Let's put it temporarily on the desktop. All right, let's put it in there. Import. A single mesh. Yes, sir. I don't know how many poly this thing actually is. It's probably quite a few. And also it's a it's taking a little bit of time to import because it's like many small meshes, not just one big consistent mesh. Let's read the chat in the meantime. I got to know I got to know about one thing that Marma said are not working well with decimated mesh. It's because a lot of artifact on normal map, but Samson's Painter works well with decimated mesh, no artifact and soft clean on normal maps. Do you think I should use just clean Divided high poly mesh in only marmoset, not the same aided triangle meshes. I don't know marmoset enough, so I won't be able to answer that question. I'm sorry. You rage. Hey Marco, this character looks amazing. Thanks. Thank you. Medusa 3D. Hello, hello. Hello to you. All right. Taking quite some time, eh? Let's go save that uh, ZTL in the meantime. Oh, I forgot to remove the hair on the nose. God. Ugh. Lorenzo, hello. I guess I'll remove it. Um, in max depending if the tests work well let's save again oh boy it's still importing That's annoying. Uh, do you have any contests in mind to happen in the future, Marco? Yeah, funny you're talking about that. We were um, having a discussion internally uh, about this exact subject. So uh, yeah, we are uh, we're looking into that. I can't. I don't think it's going to happen um, like uh, like super soon because um, we're kind of like finishing on like big projects right now. But uh, it's uh, it's absolutely. Uh, in our head, we are, we already have like a few like themes in mind and uh, like ideas like that. We're probably going to do something um, going back to like a more uh, organic thing. So last uh, contest was um, hard surface. So yeah, we're thinking of doing it uh, for uh, yeah, doing it uh, for um, organic things mostly, or maybe like a mix. Maybe a mix. It's always hard to find like a like a bracket so that like we feel it like everybody have like their um like um the same parameters or like the same like one objective that they can actually follow without restraining restricting people too much.
Hey, we're getting there, eh? This is not really something I'm going to be able to do a lot of back and forth in uh, ZBrush and um, and Max, judging by the speed of uh, or lack of. <laughs> oh boy. At the end of the day, I mean, I can do without um, these hairs. This it was just really was just like a like test for fun. We're getting there. Okay, so this is my mesh, cat hair, Whoop. and uh, we need to scale it 50% and attach it to align it to our little cube here. Uh, align, Whoop. right there. Uh, Huh. Why is it not align? Okay, if I align it to the head, it works though. Okay. Yeah, you know, okay, I, under I understand why. Okay. So let's assign a material to this. This is our emissives. I'll just uh, grab like any standard mat material. Oops. Okay. Um, do I have? Do I want roughness on this? base color, that's going to be something I'm going to have to test. No scattering, no metalness. Okay, let's just see what it gives me. It's that much longer to render, eh? To compute. Okay, so it's very, very visible. Uh, also, like the quality of the render is not really good, so like it's very pixelated. But uh, I wonder if um, we can fake it a bit. by giving it like some like transparency or something. I'll just put the transmission to like, let's say five. Hmm. Oh, wait, I didn't assign the material. Duh. Well, now maybe the transmission is actually going to be not useful. It's still way too, way too visible.
And it should be much less visible than that. I have like zero knowledge on how to um, make a hair shader, so uh, that's kind of like playing against me though, but uh, I'm trying. I'm just gonna see if I, if I just double the quality, if like it actually acts differently. I'm excited to participate. I'll keep an eye on the Discord. Sounds good, you're ready to cheat. Arrows, hello there. Ah, uh, you see, oh, see when we double the quality, it pixelates it less. It's actually starting to be much more interesting. It's actually not bad, at least from this distance. If I could make it like a little less um, Hmm. I don't know how much the transmission is actually helping. Oh, the transition was helping. But it's like a bit unequal because the, the hair on the nose, I would have liked them to be even more visible. Feel that this is going to be as good as good as it's uh, gonna get, but um, 
it's not I don't find it find it satisfying at all. What if I boost the anisotropy? I don't even know if it's actually really uh Doesn't really seem to be helping that much. Because what I was looking for is like a some like Fresnel effect. Not even sure if that exists in Arnold. Hmm, okay. I just looked uh, on the internet a little bit and uh, I think it's a... Uh, it's like a node. Shadow made tune ambient seclusion. Facing ratio. Yep, yeah, that's the that's the thing. I don't know if it's going to you know, let's make a little test. Uh let's reduce the uh The quality for this because I don't need I can go back to just like mediocre quality is gonna be a fine so let's see For this test, I'm actually going to remove the uh, subsurface.
Okay, so that's the color, the color without any effect. I'm guessing, and this is just me guessing, but I'm guessing that I'm going to have to actually, if I plug this in, probably nothing's gonna happen because it's just a function node. I'm just checking some uh, checking some tutorials here. Or there. Well, not tutorials, but explanation on the Okay, let's try. Just want to get a ramp. Oh, I guess I'll go get it and uh, Arnold. Just want to see what this does. Is that based on UVs? Uh, 
Okay. Okay, so basically nothing is changing. Yeah, okay, so this is position. So, yeah, I guess that it does not understand what... L value into, okay. Where's the simple ramp value? Not ramp value, but ramp function. Just ramp. Should I be using gradient? No, because it's... All right, well, I mean, uh, it's a little bit of testing in that stream, eh?
I'm kind of like getting somewhere, but um, so I do have like I can see like the frontal happening with this uh, in these tests, but uh, FX script R, oh, yo, all right. No, oh, bank art. Hi, looking great for a render. Do you use my also? Uh, this is Max. I just want to have less contrast and then I'll add like a... Okay. Let's try to color correct this. All right, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> okay, if I am, if I'm able to make this happen, I'm going to be a very happy Marco. Okay, so now the idea would be to blend slash composite these two things. And to be perfectly honest, I don't think I've I've ever composited two things with Arnold, so Yeah, Medusa, that's um that's a interesting thing. It would be a whole new experiment. To do and uh, I kind of like feel I've kind of like <laughs> pushed my experimentation time um, a lot for this stream. I would need to try it like maybe outside, outside of um, yeah, outside of a mix shader. Well, no, it's not like a mix shader. It's more like a no, but thanks for the uh, thanks for the, the the suggestion. Actually, I didn't even know that like it was a uh, decent. Am I gonna want to do a blend? Because that's like general. Oh boy! Comes with like. But, but it's not a blend of material. It's just like a blend of like.
Okay, composite. I think that's what I was looking for. Oops, actually, let's invert them. So layer one is what I want. Yeah. And they're gonna blend by screen. I think actually, I, I think I should not have inverted the two. No. Yeah, no, let's try. Come on, work. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Doesn't work. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, normal and layer two will be in screen. Ah, I'm much better in modeling than shadering. <laughs> I think it shows in those moments. Ah, oh, fuck me. Fucking hell. No, it's not screen. It's like lighten. I feel like that should work. Why doesn't it work? I feel that should be working. If I actually plug this one right there, it's gonna give me the Freno black on white, well, white on black. There you go. So this screen over. Is it because it's like, it's not an Arnold material? This goes in layer two, layer two is on top, and top is in. Let's just try it like this. This is basically, there's no function to this. Yeah, it doesn't, sh I think it's like that thing doesn't, is not compatible with Arnold. Matt, add, multiply, subtract, nah, 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 length, exponential, cross, compare, complement, add, abstract, mix. But how do I control what type of mix it is? Oops, forgot to plug it. So it's, it's kind of like mixing both 50-50. But I want to mix it like with a, uh, that's probably not it then. And if anybody know what's just a freaking Arnold um, shader to composite two things. Uh, I like cross compare, complement, add. Let's just try add. I'm looking for light and screen or like composite. Those are like the keywords that I feel that I'm going to find what I need. Cash clam flat. 
What can I get it with the blah, 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 blah. Texture. Surface. State float map. Subtract trigger range. Okay, let's try something else. Uh, keep not working. Man, I'm about to freaking just abandon all of that now. It's... I don't understand how those nodes work. Thank <laughs> you. 
like I got the Fresnel here. I can't just blend it with, with my map here for some reason. Wait, wait, does it work? Is, it, is this it? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> So even just that base level does not work. Man, that is... It's getting exhausting. I'm getting nowhere. No, wait, okay, I guess that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, there you go. So 
that's the effect with the Fresnel, but but it sucks. <laughs> Actually, actually, it does. It does work because if I make a comparison shot between yeah, well, I mean, I lose the SSS is not there, but there's like a little like Fresnel. There's a few effects that are added for sure, but like the frontal is there. Oh my God. All right, we got it. Wow. Wow, that was, can I say epic? A fiasco of epic proportion. There you go. That's what it was. Okay, let's put back the, um, That's the subsurface. I don't remember if I had it at nine or one point nine or yeah, let's put it to one. So let's just re-render now adding the subsurface on top of that. I'm probably gonna have to Is it like overriding the um the Fresnel? Oh yeah, well it's um ah, okay, so IQ Zen, yep, that's uh, probably what's happening. It just overrides it because now it's back with the subsurface. So, um, Megalo Bro, as powerful as Node's graphs are, I just can't bring myself to learn it. My brain is just no back to sculpting. <laughs> what a joint to be with Max. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'll fall off map. But said the friend all could work for you though. Yeah, I kind of like tried to go there earlier, but this didn't work. Mo, hello, you've joined during trouble time. Yes, you did. <laughs> you did. You absolutely did. But happy to have you around. Okay, so let's try to just like tone down the friend all though, because um. It's good that I have it, but uh, how am I doing today? Well, I mean, uh, I'm back to doing not so bad, but uh, man, just uh, just a little while ago uh, with all that BS that was happening, it was starting to get frustrated. <laughs> okay. So let's do that. There's probably like mixed to like the intensity of the mix. Let's bring it down to like a hey, point thirty three. There you go. Max Bean classic Max. Yeah, Max Arnold Bean classic Max Arnold. All right. Yeah. So by toning it down, it's um. Let's put it to like five. Oops. And do like a comparison. Oh, 
Oh, is there a difference in lighting as well? Oh yeah, I think I moved the lights since that last render. So let's just um, go here instead and do a So that is without the frenola. Okay, yeah, so you see with with and without the frenol. So the frenol is is kind of like the nice little like addition that like mimics like the fuzz of hair on the surface. So I'm actually going to be using it. It's just, it might be too strong right now. I don't know if you know this, but map general composite map works just like Photoshop layers. It's great for blending. Yeah, but it was not for, like I it was just not working with me. I feel that it's, it's because it was like an Lydia Arnold uh, renderer doesn't like that um, that node maybe. I don't know. David Arenas P. Hello Marco Bluff. I hate you with <laughs> with passion. Outstanding work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi Chaos. How are you doing today, dude? Uh, not bad, not bad. I hope you're doing well as well. Okay, so I guess we just overcame this and it took us, boy, man, like an hour. Wow. Well, at least now we got it. We got our frontal on the skin. Perfect. So, yeah, and I was also playing with the uh, the subsurface. Because I got like a scaling with uh, this map here, so that like it gets more like around the ears. But there's not really much uh, light in this scene right now to really have a, a sense of um, like the light passing through the ears. So yeah, instead of we're gonna concentrate on like tweaking a few of the things. Like for example, the roughness is way too rough. I'm gonna need to add a a corrector to the I am learning ZBrush. Can I make a question? Uh, yeah, I can, but I don't have ZBrush open. Well, I do have ZBrush open, but um, I'm working on this. But you can always ask a question if I can answer without the software. Uh, let's go. To... This I'm going to close, actually. Okay, so this was too much. This might be a little bit better for the uh, for the roughness. It's closer to my uh, my references.
Uh, I want to model a character just to render, just like you're doing right now. I would like to know how to export the pieces to render. Do you export them at a very high poly? Uh, just look at my, my previous uh, streams. I, I show the entire uh, technique. You'll see. Okay, so we're gonna go with that for the um the reflect reflectance of the skin. Do I want to play with anything in terms of the shader of the skin? I don't think I need. Right. Cat hair is probably gonna never be used again. So let's have it with everything else. I'm guessing maybe my Frenol is still a bit too strong. When I compare it to the rest of the materials, now I'm having like a renewed view. Okay, so the version without Frenel actually looks like it's blending better than, uh, maybe it's just the Frenel that's too strong. Let's just see a comparison shot between the two. Yeah, I think it's just the Frenel that's a bit too strong still. <laughs> Okay, that might be the winning formula. None, a bit, too much. I think we're gonna go with that. Okay, all right, so we're good on that. Um, is there anything else that I wanted to fix about the shader? Let's do a little shot from afar. Okay. 
Right now I'm focusing on like the shaders. Um, I have to fix the lighting as well, but I just want to make sure that like my shader are just like decent, which is actually, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with what I did with the skin at the moment. Yeah. So yeah, the metallic materials that are like black, they're really shiny. Maybe you would have preferred if they're like a bit more toned down, but uh, yeah. Also the emissive is kind of like way too blasted. I don't know if, uh, let's try to see if I can fix this. I think my emissive is here. It has a strength of one with no color. Okay. Maybe I'm just gonna have them to, I'm gonna have to add them as light instead. Instead of like an emissive. Let's try this. Okay, how do I do that again? I think I have to create, uh, how do you create a mesh light? Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna try to merge it from an existing scene instead of like looking for it. Import, merge. Let's go get the Archangels. There should be something here. Okay, light, 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 light. Mika, helmet, emissive, light, yes. Okay, where is that? Okay, so that's a mesh that is emissive and that it's that's the light, which is just like a random light placed anywhere. Okay, and this mesh has an Arnold property Light group, volume, down some times. I don't think that the Arnold property is really what's giving it its light. I think that was just something random. I think it's more like this one. Yeah, see, it's like a light and it goes and gets like a mesh. Okay, so I'm just gonna go tell him to take yeah, this one, emissive. So these, the light is not on at the moment. So I need I get to put it on, choose the right 
color. And let's try to render this. So all those little lights here, they should actually be lighting the scene a bit. That's cool to see you guys helping each other in the stream, in the chat. Hmm, right. Oh, is it because I, I actually have the emissive uh, shader on? Okay, I think I think now it actually works as a light. Yeah, okay, so that little, it's a bit too zoomed right now, zoomed up too much, but uh, we can see that the light here is working. It's not optimal. Weird.
Okay. Hey, Marco, I work in miniatures world. What would you say it's a nice way to show render the models? Should we skip substance? Well, I mean, if you're doing miniatures, I mean, miniatures, it's like, it's really, it's a whole, a whole other thing. I don't know that you need to put like texture on it or anything as long as you can actually if you want to show like maybe an impression of it being painted um uh, thing that can be probably done with like simpler methods I don't know I I've I most of the time I see um I see things from uh from the miniature world being uh, like painted um Um, sorry, being like rendered in gray now, I mean. Hey, no problem. So I'm just trying to get the the light to because hmm. those are the functions of the light. Because you have to control the the shader of like the the the, me the mesh itself, but also like the luminescence of the mesh is. It's the 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 the, um, the act the, the the light actor here. See, and this is like might actually be like too. Too saturated.
this shot is probably going to be the good one. All right, let's go with this one. Let her shut from afar. I think this is going to be also the end of the stream. Not a super event eventful one, but um, yeah, I need to go do like some other stuff. Oops, let's do full shot. Hmm. The lights are not really flashy, eh? From uh, from all angles. Maybe just, let's try to um, augment the intensity a bit. not really making the light oh, it's Okay, it works a bit better, but we're going to have to, this is something else we're going to have to work on, because at uh, the moment it's, uh, yeah. Okay, you know what? That's actually the winner. The emissive like this. All right. Radio, radio, radio. We have a winner. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, you know what? It was what it was. All right, so, um, yeah, I mean, uh, Whatever, eh? We tried to do a bit of um, fur and ZBrush. Uh, turned out it was kind of like hard to calibrate the um, the shaders and um, 
and Arnold. I feel like maybe like I like if I would have like added like the frontal, but in, in terms of like its opacity, and just keep it on like the edges of like the screen, maybe it would have worked. Um, that could have been like pretty hard to test. Uh, I didn't want to waste too much time with that. Then we tried to the, the Fresnel on the shader. That was something. And then some calibration. Anyway, so I mean, it was what it was. Thanks for uh, for joining, even if it's not the was not the most exciting one. Um, I hope you at least learned something or whatever. Eh? Um, so yep, I mean, um, I'll uh, let's do a little raid, and um, I'll come back next week to continue with uh, some uh, some shader stuff. Just trying to find a uh, something cool to raid. All right. Yeah. No problem. It was my pleasure. So uh there you go. Just uh picked something here. Boom. All right, it's going to start soon. So, once again, thanks for joining. I'll see you next week. Bye everyone.